going to talk a little bit about innovation and specifically innovation around the customer uh, and truly being customer centric. Involving your customers, involving your employees, involving everyone around innovation is critical. And it plays back to you know, a previous conversation we had around building your journey mapping and using that care model uh, that really talks through all the things that you need to do to uh, find those opportunities within your journey map and that can build on some of the innovation uh, that you, you need to go through in order to improve the customer experience. Whether it's technical or not, think about it in terms of the end game, which is what is that going to look like? How am I gonna tell that story externally? when this new innovation comes about. And so the best way to do that is put it in kind of a one page or marketing brief to say, to answer some of these questions, like what is the outcome that you hope to achieve? Um, and then why should you do this? And it, that should come from that care model uh, and some of the observations from your customer journey mapping. How will you measure it, right? What is the impact of the innovation um, on the overall outcome, the business outcome. And then who will be impacted internally and externally with this innovation? So that's why it's important to think of in terms of a marketing brief, right? And then once you've done that, it's time to place your bet. And, and we use this in terms of like an if then statement, right? So if I, if I do this, this should happen. And so doing that then uh, and, and then providing the bumpers, which would be the next phase of that, is saying that, you know, what are all the variances? And I, 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 could, I always use the example of um, the Lexus Toyota Scion model, right? Is to say that if you're going to test something and you want to test different concepts, you know, think of it in terms of those models, right? And saying that, you know, Lexus being the premium brand, like, so what's that premium experience? If I could change the world, in, uh, in everything about it and make it an ultimate experience, this is what it would look like. Then there's that Toyota, there's that middle of the road, this is the bread and butter, this is, it takes a little bit of this and a little bit of that together uh, to, to make the experience, to meet the basic outcomes of what I'm trying to achieve. And then there's the Scion, how can I do this at a low cost? And sometimes the biggest innovation comes out of trying to execute or improve a customer experience uh, or an innovation or an idea at a low cost. Um, and, and so now you've got the constructs of the, this innovation process. So now, as we, we think about this, you know, do it kind of in a D5 model is uh, this, right? So those Ds stand for, you know, discover. So I'm going to, I'm going to take my customer journey I'm going to do a lot of different things to actually discover what the opportunity is. Second is around development. So I'm going to develop the parameters, answering a lot of the questions that we just talked about before. Uh, and then I'm going to go design this experience and de deciding on which model, Lexus, Toyota, Scion, whatever it is that you're trying to build, designing it around that and then go deploy it. Um, you know, put it out in the wild, see what happens and these can be quick iterative processes, and then ultimately you're going to decide. So based on that uh, interaction that you have with the innovation is going to make certain decisions or innovation. And that really turns into what I call the sixth D of the process in your roadmap. And that's really to divide. And we're, we'll, we'll certainly get into this a little bit uh, in next time, but this actually feeds into your roadmap strategy of saying, okay, now I've, I've decided what thing elements I want to do. Now, how am I going to incorporate this into all of the big picture things that I need to get done? So if you're looking for ways to actually think about this and in the innovation process, how it feeds into your roadmap, feel free to reach out to us. This is what we do. It's part of our 360 approach as we've talked about before. We'd be happy to help.